Hey guys, Gaston from Connecting Tennis. Welcome again to another video. Today we're gonna have something different. It's gonna be great, you're gonna love it. What I'm gonna do instead of showing something, okay, and I will be do it for you. I actually got a player, okay, he is, uh, he doesn't play in the US, okay, he plays in Brazil, but he has a level that I know. Um, he's like a 3.0 in the US rank rating, okay, 3.0, and he wants to go to 3.5, 4.0. So I met him. He told me, Gaston, I love the way uh, you teach. I love the things you teach. Please, can you help me with, with some things in my forehand, my backhand, uh, my serve, okay? So I can go up, okay, on my game, on my level, and can I compete in different level? Say, so for sure, okay, let's do it. So today, what I'm gonna be showing you is the simple things that I touch in his forehand, okay? Just simple things. I don't like to, to change grips or anything. A good coach, okay, you do the best with a player, okay, with what he has. You just improve, okay? You find a way for him to feel better, to feel more comfortable with his game. So what I did, okay, I just touched one thing in the in the the form of the forehand, okay? He was doing more like a Gulbis, okay, like a, like a solo link, if you remember style. So what I did is more like a like a Jokovic, okay? Taking with the hand back, okay? I, I tried to clean as much as possible the technique on him. You're gonna be seeing now uh, after I make the introduction. So pay attention to those things. I also gave him, um, a hint okay on how to arrive to the ball with open close or semi-open stance so he has the the notion okay of what to do depending where the ball is and another thing that i help him with is the speed okay of the wrist it's very important when you try to go up in the level okay when you try to play with better players you need to have the extra okay the extra power in the ball the extra spin so the little things that i adjust on him he felt it great okay he told me i played the other day i try all the things you told me i actually beat a guy that I never beat before, okay? So great, I'm really happy that he helped. We're gonna be working on the backhand with him, okay? We already did it, but I'm gonna show you, okay? In another video, how we touch his backhand, okay? A little with the form, okay? A little, the way he hits the ball, how he gets from under the ball. And I'm gonna be showing you also with his body, with his serves. So it's been great, okay? It's a great experience. He, he's really happy with the results. He was able, okay, to beat guys in his level. So now the next tournament, he's gonna start to play actually in 4.0. He feels he's ready for that. So let's go to see, okay, all the things we, we train with him. And I hope you guys like it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, practicing this, okay? I saw many times you do this. Okay, I'm gonna show there so they can see. You do this and you take like this already. That's more like a, like Gulbis, okay? Or like Soderling that they used to do this. Okay, I like it more here, taking the racket back, okay? So you have control here and then you help yourself to break the hand and go forward, okay? So from here, okay, now we're talking open stance. You see the ball coming, first thing you do, rotation, okay? Then from here, you can, you don't need to go all the way here back, okay? This hand can stay here, this one keeps going, and this one is already pointing the ball as the ball is coming. So you rotate here, the ball starts to come, you point the ball there, okay? To then hit in front and finish again. So practice this now, this, come back here, this, Come back here, there you go. There, come back, good, one more. There, come back, okay. Now, watch out because you're too stiff here, okay? Your hand is coming here stiff. You need to make here and this drop here, okay? This face of the racket down, showing the butt of the racket, okay? There, to then make this last uh, pull with the wrist here and finishing, okay? So three balls now here trying to, to relax most the shoulders and going forward, let's go. There, there you go, and adjust the distance, okay? There, good, one more, there, good. All right, now the same thing, but what I want you to do instead of doing this, okay? I want you to do this. If you're defending, okay, you're out of the court, the ball is coming really fast to you, you can go here, okay, open a stand, that's what everybody does. Now, if you have the chance, more like a Del Potro, okay, to punish the forehand, the ball that is soft or is coming more to the middle, inside the court, okay, here, you put the leg, so then you can attack the ball and go forward. Same movement here, drop and go forward, but now you're gonna be or. This is very important, that you hit with the arm extended in front of you and going forward. Let's go, come in, there you go. Get under and relax the shoulders, there, good. There you go, come in, there you go. That's perfect, but you see how you're gonna more relax here and transferring the way, that's so important. There's a lot of exercises that, that you can do with the medicine ball here, or you do it open stance and going like this, 
or you put the leg, throw it, and fall. That is what's gonna help you, okay? There's a video with Del Potro doing it a lot against the wall. He's here, boom, grabbing, boom. That is gonna give you the, the power you need to make, okay, the hammer go forward. Okay, so now we're gonna do a drill, okay? You're gonna start from behind the cone. You go wide, you have to choose. If you play either open stand, if you play semi-open, if you play cross. But what I want to see here, it's taking the hand, okay? I don't want you to do this. Taking the hand, okay? And relaxing the shoulders, okay? I don't want this and opening all here, all stiff. Take back, relax, okay? Follow forward. And very important that you make the drop here so you can get from under the ball, okay? We're playing clay court. You need a lot of spin on the ball. Sounds good? Let's go. Relax there. There you go. Back, 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 back. Now you can punish. There you go. Great, great. Come on, get under. Good, okay, okay. Control it there, you're the distance. There you go. Wide, the distance. Nice, I love you. Go, 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 go. Ready, go, get under. There you go, get under. There you go, get under. There you go, come on, three more. There you go, get under. Nice, get under. Yes! Great. Great. Okay, guys, so you could see there, like I said before, okay, before I show you the, the lesson with him, the things that we touch, okay, the things I show him, okay, preparation, how you get more control when you take, okay, with your left hand if you're a righty, more control, taking the racket, okay, how you, I think you see there, how you break, okay, the racket here to get from under the ball, how he gets more spin, okay more uh, work with his wrist so the ball has more revolution, it's heavier, so now he's going to be able to, to, to punish or to make feel more uncomfortable, uncomfortable better players than him. So I hope you guys like it, stay tuned because we're going to have the backhand, the serve, the volley and everything we're going to be working on him. So thank you guys for watching, that was it for today, uh, I hope you enjoyed, remember subscribe to the channel if you didn't, go to our Facebook page, we're going to be starting with uh, a minute video, okay, every day. I'm gonna post it just one little tip, one minute, okay? But it's gonna be a great tip, something that is gonna work for you, okay, to improve and to apply to your game. Uh, so go there to our Facebook page, like it, so you can see everything that I put there. Thank you guys for all the support, I really appreciate it. See you next time.